The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, this is Ken Gidge, and this is the Art of Politics, and this is the 7th of November, 2014. That means we just had an election for governor, for senators, and representatives, and I was reelected, State Representative Ken Gidge, fourth term, and... Representative Al Baldessaro. I was elected my fifth term. Your fifth term? Yes. And you were a top vote getter? I was the top vote getter. And I was, I was a top vote getter also? I'd price to pay to be one of the finest there, that's for sure. Oh, that's what the, I The people that. recognize talent in my district, and I understand you got a lot of Republicans who were elected in Nashua. I've had Republicans mm -hmm. who voted for me, in yeah. fact. Yeah, yeah well, that's uh, what they tell you. Mm -hmm. I would well, you know, you're you're a serviceman, an a, a, a old serviceman, and mm -hmm. you have a proclamation oh, yeah, from the governor. I, yeah, well, why don't we before we get into the negative stuff of the campaign and what went oh, wrong yeah. on why the Democrats got their butt kicked? Let me uh, read something here. I just want to remind everyone on uh, Veterans Day, which is November 11th, and I have a proclamation that I picked up from the governor's office that I will be uh, it'll be presented at our parade on Saturday in Londonderry. And it says, the state of New Hampshire, by Her Excellency Margaret Woodhassen, Governor, Proclamation, Veterans Day, November 11, 2014. Whereas New Hampshire honors our veterans for their examples of character, service, and sacrifice, and whereas veterans have borne the deepest wounds and scars of wars, and we honor their dedication, patriotism, and willingness to serve for the common good, and whereas on the 96th anniversary of Veterans Day, New Hampshire, joins with the nation to honor those men and women who during the past 237 years have proudly served our country. And whereas we all owe a tremendous debt to those who have served our nation and those who continue to serve. And whereas we pay special tribute to the members of New Hampshire National Guard who respond with courage when called upon to provide service both at home and abroad. And whereas we also recognize the families of our veterans who also make tremendous sacrifices, and whereas New Hampshire Veterans Cemetery, New Hampshire State Office of Veterans Services, Veterans Home, the United States Department of Veterans Affairs, and Medical Center, and all of our veterans organizations should be commended for the support and service they provide. And this was signed by Margaret uh, Wood Hassan. The governor. Uh, turn it around and show it to the, uh, because if no. the, your camera will be right okay. there. No, 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 right yeah. here, your camera. As a retired right. Marine, I mean, I always ask for the governor to get a proclamation for my town. Yep. And then I have another one because I'm doing a bridge ceremony at 3.30 in the afternoon on November 11th in Portsmouth to rededicate the memorial bridge, the new bridge, yep. with uh, veterans plaques over there. I mean, I'm working with Representative Dave Campbell. Yep. From Nashua. Yeah. So and Dave's done a great job on making sure that, you know, the plaques are getting up there. And then I put the ceremony together for him. So team effort. 
Well, that's good. Uh, now we've got that out of the that's way. That's right. Now, <laughs> now let's take the gloves off. Oh, my God. What a beating you took, right, yeah, you Democrats. I'll tell you what, why don't we just start? We've, we've, got, the, we've got the list right here. It's really That's from, just for Nashua. I yeah, think. this is from Nashua. Right. And I have my Londonderry list. No, okay. But uh, so Maggie Hassan, uh, obviously, won. She's for mm -hmm. her second term. Right. Uh, Walt, uh, have say, listen. He's a smart man, but po politically, he's as dumb as a rock. No, we got to start knocking that people. That is awful. Why do Democrats always go to no, name no, calling? No, no, no. Well, because did, did he deserve, he, he's a retired Marine. Republicans he's educated. admit it was a bad no, choice. No, I don't know any Republicans that didn't because he came close. What did he get, 47, 48% of the vote? If you ever... What did he get for vote that he's so dumb that you're saying? Have you ever heard <laughs> of a governor, if anyone ever hears a governor, uh, uh, a candidate for governor say, I ran a large business, I know about business, and I'm a businessman, I does. can create jobs. And he can. You want to know something? You want, yeah. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Seriously? He can run a business, but you can't run a state unless you understand he, the state. That's not true. That, How that, you no, come can't on, bring give it a business break. in you unless know, some, you had created business. He never created business. You know, why do you he have works to knock with the this federal man? Government. Why do you have to knock this veteran? Who stood oh. up? I don't understand oh, how you Democrats stop it. act. Stop it. Because that's what, no, that's what you're doing Come right on. now. You're knocking someone who got 47 or 48 percent of the vote. Okay, he's a businessman. He served 36 years in the Marine Corps. How dare Will you, you stop disrespect to, him? No, hold on a second. All right, I want I want to put this. You're a Marine. You read a and proclamation, a and I agree. Stop using this as an example then, because he was I a Marine. To, I have to do this that because this is an awful why choice you have by to the call, Republicans why do you have to, to call, bring in this man. Why did what you have to I call him names? Wait a minute. Why did you have to call him I names? I didn't call him names. What did you say? Politically, he's as dumb as a rock. Okay, dumb as a rock. Uh, yeah, Politically. There you go. Politically. Right, okay, let's okay. move on. He's a very professional individual. Let, let, I, okay. He stepped up. But see, now Maggie, tax and spend, I guess we can talk bad about now. Okay? Right. Maggie's overspent her budget. And, Maggie and is, you, uh, you, is it's out of control. And you know something. And I like Maggie. It's, it's interesting because a lot of Republicans uh, voted for her. Also, let's go down to Scott Brown. You know, Brown. in my district, uh, Walt won in my district. Uh, Scott Brown won in my district. Frank Ginter knocked out Cal Shea Porter. Okay. Okay, I know you got the custard okay, thing. Okay, well, no, let, let us just go down it a little, okay, because you, you've got yours. Uh, okay, so uh, Scott Brown lost. Yes. Jean Chahine. Yes, close won. race, huh? Why? Yes, it was. it was. It was, was a close filled. race. I think everybody was kind right. of surprised about that. Too good. I have to admit, I could. I like Jean Chahine. I mean, it's just their politics. We got one big government and one smaller government. The bigger government won. You know, Jean Chahine. You, know, you know something? You guys have got the Senate, and you now have the House, well, you had the House, now you got the Senate. You want to know something? Congratulations. Oh, it's congratulations. about time. Congratulations. It's about no, time. Congratulations. Yeah. Now you got <laughs> oh, no you slap me, huh? excuse uh, that's an for doing nothing. You, yeah, but the you people have no excuse for doing nothing. It's been. You out. It, the, they kicked out the tax and spenders no, no, no. in the House. No, no. Yeah, no, they did. Not, no, that's not the what... The people spoke. No, no, you no, weren't no, riding on no. Obama's tails you, this time. You guys wanted it. You got it. Now, you have no excuses for yeah. not doing anything. All yeah, right? We always done it. And that's good. That's good because you all you did used, nothing. You used to fight and used to say all these. You all things. did nothing. Now we, the, now, the we people, can, now we can change it. Democrats you and Republicans got the House and, and independents you didn't do anything. Kick the now Democrats you got out. the Senate. Let's see what you do. We'll do the same thing we did well, uh, when we had it before. Let, let us hope when you're going to do something this time. When we gave tax breaks, when we didn't let put the people's pockets, you're going to do something. We didn't downshift. Really? Okay. Okay. You know, you know, we can argue about this right now, but guess what? The truth it, hurts, it, it, don't it? No. Yeah, it does. No, you no, no, no. You all got kicked out no, no. for not doing your job. No, no, no. no. You 
kept making excuses you, no, no, why I nothing never, could get done. No, now you have won it. No, that's not Let's true. Let's see that's what you're going to do. That's not true. Things did get done. We had a Senate that right. stopped the Democrat Close, House. Shut the, shut the government down. We had no, $50 billion, a New billion Hampshire. dollars a state. New Hampshire. Gone. Hey, I'm talking New Hampshire. All you Democrats. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. A billion dollars air. coming to New Hampshire is a lot of money. All you Democrats, the... Democrats, <laughs> we're Democrats, <laughs> we're put on the unemployment uh, line here in New Hampshire. Oh, we're we, a... we picked up 85, right. almost now, something like that, 80, 85 new Republican seats. What? Because the people oh, found well, well, where? Seat here? here in New here. Hampshire, Has... you didn't do your job. Let me ask you a question. During a midtime, has not every single election that we can remember. No. Has not I'm already saying no before the you opposing say it. party pick up seats. No, only for the last six years or eight years. Oh, that's it. The rest of the time, the Republicans control the state. But that's why we You did, hammered us. That's why we didn't own have a sales you, tax or a payroll tax. We hammered you. You hammered us. Okay. Now, guess what? Now you have no excuses. Mm -hmm. Oh, we never uh, had excuses. Oh, wait, wait. Obamacare. Now, we never had excuses. I love this Obamacare. You ready for this? this I, the, I don't. This is exactly what a Republican said. Are you ready for this? They are going to go and they're going to vote Obamacare down. Yeah. All right? After that, they're going to start fixing Obamacare. So it's in. But the way you want it. But they're not going to stop Obamacare. Nothing is going to basically change all the good stuff, obviously. And we all understand things had to be fixed. So guess what? Are you done with your you BS? Hypocrites! Are you, you done with hypocrites? your hypocrites? You know, some get over yourself, okay? <laughs> First of all, you swing more BS than anyone I know. No, you okay? don't. No, I know I a mean, couple people. Don't. But you, no, no, that, that Democrat, guy's gone. That Republican's gone. Do you gone. realize your Democrat talking points here in New Hampshire did not work? Your attack against me in my district did not work. Your attack against Bill O'Brien did not work. Your chairman of the Democratic Party spent thousands of dollars on negative advertising, and he failed because the Republicans took back the House. Okay? The and, war and on women. No, 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 that, no, no, you see, you, you see, we got Medicaid in, so you guys now can take it away. Look at the we camera got, and no, tell no, the no. truth on Medicaid. We got expansion. Medicaid in, ladies and gentlemen. Look at now the camera and tell about, the truth what you ex brought in. Ex excuse me. So you got about 40,000 people who now have insurance. No, you don't. Now, guess what? Not 49,000. Now, they want to get rid of that? Let's see what they're going to do. They're not going to get rid of it. You want to know why? Because you can't take insurance away from mothers Look at the and camera fathers. and tell the people of New Hampshire the real truth what Medicaid expansion you voted for with the trigger in well, 2016 oh, well, hold, with the other three uh, waivers. Hold, 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 tell the people no, of New no, Hampshire no, no, what you no, voted no, no, for no, 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 no. in Medicaid I'm, expansion. I'm going to Did take, you read the bill? I am going to take your, you like I am going to take your side. I'm going to take the opposite side. Mm -hmm. As you did to me, I'm mm -hmm. going to now start doing it to you and see how you like it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Medicaid. Do anything you want. Medicaid here in the state of New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Is the Republicans going to get rid of it? Well, no, I, I can't speak for all Republicans right now, but I know I don't. I will get rid of it. You will get rid of it. Will, let me look so at the camera. 9, Watch me. Watch people this. Watch with this. no insurance. Wait. Watch this here. I will vote to repeal Obamacare. Yes, I oh, will. Oh, no, 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 no. New Hampshire Medicaid. I will, okay, let me rephrase right. that. I, Al Balvasar, will vote to repeal Medicaid expansion in New Hampshire. And, you make you happy? And, now, uh, wait a minute. And the, I, I, I'm and the 25,000 people who oh, have now insurance, now what 20, are you going to do, Al? You know something? Now, the 20, me, now Al, it's 25,000. A few minutes ago, it was 48,000. What, what are you going to do? The, the roof's going to fall. Al, Al, what are you going to do now? What I'm going to do... You're not going to give anybody insurance? You're going to take I'm gonna insurance do, away from people? We're going to put a team... How about parents who have existing problems let, with their kids? You know, some stuff with that bull. 
Okay, we already How do you have like pre. It? We I'm already do have it to you. No, we You've already, been doing it to me. Did, did New Hampshire already have pre-existing insurance for our people no, that don't? Yes, no, we do. We did not. Yes, we do. We, we had a wait not. list. It, it came wrong. in through Obamacare. No, you're wrong. And now you're going to take you it away. You are wrong. Yeah. You yeah. are not telling you, the truth. Excuse hey, me. You're on Congress. I happen to be on Congress. You're and not I got telling news. the truth. Don't make a statement like that because the fact is that we didn't have it okay. until, until Obamacare came along. Existing problems. New now, New are Hampshire, you going to take that away from parents? Over, over the years, New Hampshire passed pre-existent. I have to admit you, the Democrats... Passed a law are you, under their watch are, up to 26. Are you that you're going to, Will you are let me you finish? Going to take the insurance you, away from those who have an existing problem? Take a drink there. Relax. What don't well, you are understand? You? Did you hear what I said a few minutes ago? We never had it, Did Al. You, you're, 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 not, you're, you're not telling the truth. You're on karma. You're not being I'm honest. I'm on karma. I'm, I'm in the insurance. What is the wait list in New Hampshire? What is the wait list in New Hampshire? We wouldn't have that. What is the so, wait list in so New Hampshire so funded? The, so the question is, will all right? No, you're not listening okay, to me. Hold on. Answer my question, please, no. before you go into something no, else. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is the wait list in New Hampshire that we voted to fund more money into? What is the wait list for? What was the New Hampshire wait list for that we voted and put millions of dollars into? To clear the wait list. What was that for? You know, ladies and You're not answering me. Ladies, You're not ladies answering me. Ladies and gentlemen. Answer ladies my and gentlemen. question before you go into he something else. He wants to get rid of Medicaid. Answer with thousands and thousands question. of people who have it. You want to know something? Answer. He's not lying. Answer my he's question. He's not lying. I'm not going to say he's lying because he's not lying. They're not going to do it. You want to know why? They're not going to do it. Answer my question. Because they have a high. Can you? Why do you they never answer my questions? You, you always ask me a million questions. Before they got it, now you're going to have a high. You know, it has nothing about being heartless. He never answers the questions, okay? We voted to put more money into the wait list for the pre existing uh, cases we have in New Hampshire. And New Hampshire oh, is carrying that insurance. We've had it for quite a few years. The only problem is we had a wait list. Ex excuse me. Now, excuse age me. 26. Ex excuse me. Can you excuse let me finish what is a wait list? Explain a, what a wait list is. A wait list is people that are waiting to get covered because we needed more money to cover the people with catastrophic issues, okay? That have uh, major problems and how many people where they are can't be covered. How many people are waiting? I, I don't know the exact well, number. Well, no people are waiting right now. Right now, because we put Medicaid. more money. We, no, that's no, BS. No, that came through Medicaid. That's, no, no, that's BS. We, we, you, it, you, how much do you want to bet? You know, some. You, you, you know, I'll tell you what. I, I, I know I more beef. about insurance than you do. I have. Then why don't you? Then why don't you know about our wait list? Why don't you know about our uh, pre-existing in New Hampshire? Remember, why don't you know about we had age twenty-six coverage in New Hampshire? Means parents who have a child with an existing problem has to wait no, till no. when? It's till they go bankrupt. We till they lose their you're houses. Not, you're till they lose not their jobs. To me. Two years they lose ago, their cars you, you and the families some, break up. That's a know, wait list. You're, you're not listening to me here. You know we funded a couple of years ago. We put more money in a you few years did ago. Not. Yeah, we did too. You know, some don't believe me. Call Health and Human Services yourself. Talk to the commissioner's office there and ask him if we funded. Ask him if a few years ago what the Democrats did, which, you know, was probably not the more I look at it, they did the right thing, where you are covered ah, up until 26. Ah. Okay? Family, children, they covered. Well, you, we didn't need well, Obamacare you, you in New Hampshire. You were against that. I was against it. Completely I was against, against it. it. Now, all of a sudden... Do you want to know no, why I was against it? All of a sudden, it? it's there. Now you're you, far. No, 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 you're no. You're against it. You're not listening now to me. You're you never let Sounds me like finish. Sounds like a politician you to me. You never let me excuse finish. Me, me. You never let me finish. You always cut me off. The 26th, the reason I was against it, because it only covered a certain portion. It didn't cover the federal government. My family, uh, because I'm on, I'm retired Marine, my children, if I want to add them on until 26, I have to pay another 200 something dollars per kid, okay, that I have to do. Now, my wife's civilian insurance, she just adds them on at no cost till 26. Ah, That's ah, what they did to ah, the military ah, people. No, hold on a second. Okay? Hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. But you would, because you didn't want it, you would no, mind if they came would. off it. No, it's not that. I told my kids, you're the work and you, you have to get you your own guys insurance. You fought I, it and no, fought it. You're damn right no, you did. they want it. No, now we don't. It works. No, we don't. No, That's no. That's why. Actually, it's not working. Look, it's working it's, for it's, a small it's, portion. It's, it's, Oh, okay. It's because gonna, some other insurance it, plans many, have to pay more, and they can't it? afford it. How many it? kids do you have on it? I have just my uh, younger kid. My daughter's getting off it when she turns twenty-three. Okay, so you got two people on it. My wife and me, and my wife's kids on my insurance. Oh, 
your insurance. On my insurance. I thought she said her insurance. No, when she canceled hers and got on mine. She's on your insurance. She's on my insurance. All right. All right. Because my insurance was a lot better that I earned from the military, uh, you know, versus what she was paying. I thought you just said it wasn't. No, the what I'm trying to say is, work on a the thing is, you're not listening. See, you turn things so around so unbelievable. <laughs> what I said to <laughs> age 26 under Obamacare did not touch the military. Did, did not touch certain other plans there that they have to cover But you just pay. said you put you the turn, kids on the military one. I did, but at age 23, they have to come off it. They can't stay on till 26 unless I pay another couple hundred dollars per kid. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Absolutely now, my kids are working. Understand. They got their own insurance. Well, they me, don't want help from okay, the government. Look, they want let, government out of their uh, pockets, I'll out of their I'll house. I'll tell you what. Uh, let, me, let me tell you, because no, you, you, tell you me. don't know this. Is this, this. your Democrat talking no, points no, no, telling because me? Because you don't know this. The insurance companies mm -hmm. throughout the United States mm -hmm. have figured it out how to make kids, more money and no, do less. Exactly. No, how to, no. How to make we'll, more money we'll, we'll and do less over, for the people. Right. Hold it. They have figured it out that kids between 18 to about 26 mm -hmm. really are pretty healthy. Right. Okay. They're, they're they don't not, need it. Now, they have to exist. So what they decided was, all right, that they would put them on. They did this on their own without any... Mm -hmm. All right, arguments between the Republicans and the Democrats, which you didn't know. Which how do you know what I don't know? Well, how do you know? Because you're you assuming. Didn't know you that. know what assume means? Break down assume. Uh, a s s u uh, me. Okay? okay, that's what assume means, right. and that's what you're doing. Okay, you're trying to put words in my mouth, and it's not true. Kevin Avod beat Gilmore. Uh, you think it was because she came on your show? Well, it's probably because he had nine shows. And she was intimidating. Times a day. And she didn't want to come on with me, but she no. came on with you. All right, well, can we get down through these? I mean, yeah, we I, can. I, these are good things. Yeah, Kevin, we can. Kevin, well, this isn't good for me. I think Peggy Gilmore, honestly, the person who's better qualified is, in my opinion, I mean, is Peggy Gilmore. I don't Kevin think Avod. So. I think Kevin Avod's is, is, more qualified. Is, is, uh, well, he won. He won. Okay, the so I'm not going to... Okay. She negatively attacked that man. He it's a shame in his family. She did yes, he not. did. Her campaign you wanna attacked know something? You want to know something? I know exactly what you're talking about, him. and he didn't do it. Did she come out and say anything? No. Did she come out she and didn't. publicly uh, denounce that uh, negative attack? Did she do that? Did she go out in the public and say, it's not right you attacking this man? She said it to me. Oh, she said it she to said you. She said it to me. Yeah, okay. All I right. have a TV show, right. and I'm here and telling yeah. you. I'm gonna. I want you to watch uh, the show. All right, Let's okay. Play it again. All right. It was so bad. You want to tell? You want to say no, what I the negative part was? No, I didn't want to get into it because he's the answer. I don't even want to get into it. I just so disgusted. Well, I mean, he. I am so it, disgusted it over the Democrats' negative campaign. It came down to an arrest. Okay. I am so disgusted it, it, over it the negative. Got, it got bad. All right. Now, I happen to agree with you. And in fact, that which was brought up was not brought up by Gilmore. Did she denounce and it out publicly? Know, she did to me, she and I own in a your TV ear. show. No, you, wait a minute. You own a TV no, hold show? On, hold on, hold on. Oh, the hold, taxpayers hold on. own it. It did happen. Mm -hmm. Okay? It, it, all these things did happen, but it wasn't fair. Legally, they happened, but what happened wasn't fair. And being used now was also not fair because it was... Far back. Okay, let's go. I'm mm -hmm. ready to move right. on. Kevin I just can Avon I just bring won. something. On? I know he did, but can All I bring right, something go. up? Real. I've been involved in the family court here and with the redress of grievance here for the last seven years. I've sat in family courts. Women and men use children as pawns in the in the process going to a divorce, and it's a shame. Not all, but quite a few cases. They put they use the court system to put these um, restraining orders. And then as soon as they get an opportunity, one or the other tries to get the upper hand and have them arrested. So you never get the true score, and the judges have to cipher through this BS. You never get the truth. So that and, should have never, ever came out. And if I out. asked you how you can, we can connect this to the person I just to mentioned, Kevin which Avot, I because don't. Because I know Kevin Le Abbott, okay. and he's a very Let good family man. Move on. He's a very professional right. individual. Okay. And I'm glad Carl the people seen Seidel. through it. A good man, Ward Carl. Won. Carl's he, a great he guy. He won. Yes. So that means Sylvia mm -hmm. Gale lost by six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric Eastman won. No, I met him last night. Nice guy. Very professional. Jan Schmidt. 
okay, lost. Mm -hmm. Thomas Woodward lost. Mm -hmm. And this is Elizabeth, is it Farah? Farah, yes. Farrah, I met okay. her last night also, another very professional, okay, so very knowledgeable individual. So that means individual. in Ward 1, uh, Thomas yeah. Woodward, Sylvia Gale, Jan Schmidt, who are Democrats, lost. Yes. Carl Seidel, Eastman, and Elizabeth mm -hmm. Ferreira right. won. Okay, now let us just go down uh, to, did Hardy win? Uh, yes, I'm sure he did. Oh, you say, uh, yeah, okay, I'm, we'll say Hardy I'd say for Hardy, Shara. Hardy is a well-loved guy. He does a Dennis great job. Dennis Hogan beat he won. Patricia LaFrance yes. for attorney. For uh, county attorney. County attorney, okay. Dennis is another great guy. He's done a great job for your... Um, you know, and he don't play the party oh, line, I, I, Republican I, or Democrat. Well, he's, uh, you know, he's prosecuted yeah, that, a lot of cases that, for you guys. No, he doesn't prosecute. Well, he's done a great job. No, yeah, he, his no. team. His she team. would prosecute. Oh, he didn't on, prosecute. Yeah, that, Dennis is a very professional individual. He's done a great job, and the people recognized it. Okay, now let us go over to, let's go, let's get through this, because this is Nashua, and this yeah. is New Hampshire. Uh, what am I on? I'm on... Okay, Ward, Ward 2, uh, and this is the Democrats, uh, which would be Susan Mercia Vale uh, lost, I believe, yes. Uh, was Susan she a rep? Harvey, Democrat, was won. Was she a sitting rep? Uh, no. No? Okay. No. Okay, Susan Harvey won. Uh, this is Democrat. Um, Shafe, Ward, T. Shafe lost. So right. you have... Republicans picked up two seats, McCarthy and McCarran, mm -hmm. I believe his name is. Yep. Okay, let's just move on. Uh, Ward 3. Uh, Nashua seen the light. I'm glad to see that. Scots is one. I'm very mm -hmm. surprised about that. Uh, Cindy uh, Rosenwald won. That's no like surprise. Cindy. Yeah, Cindy. That's, a, that's no Cindy's surprise. Across party Alan lines. Cohen won. That's that's no surprise. Mm -hmm. But I'm surprised uh, Melinda uh, McKay lost. So you picked mm -hmm. up one seat mm -hmm. there, right? All right. You know, just real quick under Cindy Rosenwald, I tell you, I'm very impressed. Uh, you know, even though she's a Democrat, uh, but uh, you know, I, I like Cindy. She works across party lines, and you know. I just thought I'd throw that out there. You know? she, Cindy Rosenwald you know? is probably one of the smartest people mm -hmm. we have politically yeah. up there. Well, and everybody, we have many. Republicans we and have Democrats many smart go, people go up there. to her. We have many on both sides. Okay, so, so we're now Ward 4. We have Mary Gorman, I one. Love, I love Mary. She sat in front of me next to you. Know, See, right? Yeah, we sat we right had together. A great time. Okay, Pamela. For a Democrat, she's all right. Pamela Brown, Democrat, one. Was she an incumbent? Uh, yes. Yes. David Cody I like Dave's a good must guy. have the record. I believe this is going on his thirtieth year. Is it? Wow. I mean, I believe it was mm -hmm. twenty nine years. I believe he's up been up there mm -hmm. for thirty years. He and, was a chair when I first got elected eight years ago. And he's one of he the took, for again, criminal justice. He's one of the smartest people mm -hmm. you're well, ever gonna they, for the, many of them are all smart. Let's let's just make sure we clip both sides. We, you know, they, they step up to the plate to make a difference for their district uh, uh, it, and make a difference it, it, in New exactly. Hampshhire. Exactly. But somebody, Whether we agree but or somebody in the who's policies. there for thirty years is doing something correct. He's, he's a very, very smart. He's in a Democrat I'm district. I'm not calling anyone else dumb. Can I get yeah, through you these are. things? You always do. What do you, let me get through these things. You guys always go to name calling. <laughs> Okay. All right, Ward 5, okay, Demo Republicans won it all. Barry Palmer, uh, Don uh, LeBron, and... Um, Don's a great, uh, Don's a Marine like I am, by the uh, way. Morteca, Morteca. David, uh, David Maritaki, yeah, one, Maritaki, great guy. Yeah, okay. uh, he's uh, an Palmer. incumbent, yep. LeBron, okay, Palmer is new. The lost, uh, well, we lost, all right. I'm glad to see Palmer. Ward 6, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Ward 6, we got all Democrats, Lee Garrett, Elizabeth Borths, and Ken Gidge. Jeez, mm -hmm. that sounds... Now, let's talk, uh, one of them is uh, your uh, wife, right? Let's get it. Yeah. Let's look at her. <laughs> one of them is your wife that's running, huh? Yes, and I might as well tell a story while we're on the air about Lee. Uh, Lee said, well, it would be nice if we both were... Lee's the better half, my, by the my, way, my, right? My wife, Lee's yeah, the, the better, better half. The better half. Yeah, okay. And yes. uh, then we started, so she puts her name down. Then we started looking at a financial rally, and we said, we really can't do this. So she said, okay, I'm not going to campaign. A Republican will take the seat. Okay. 
All right, we, we understood that. Mm -hmm. So it comes down. You're in a liberal district. Uh, I was so. a top vote getter. Mm -hmm. She got 1,055 votes. The incumbent got 1,055 votes. So it's a tie. Oh, I didn't know that. So it's a tie mm -hmm. for second place. So you got a first and you got mm -hmm. two. So Lee will be coming to Concord with myself. Oh, I didn't even know so that. So it's wow. a husband and wife. Yeah. And do you, you know, we're not the only so the ones, by the way. So the Republican is the third one that won. No, no, no. no this was all, this is all, uh, no, Boris happens to be a, a Democrat. So oh, the Democrats okay. won one, right. six. But that's a liberal district anyway, so they, they like taxes and no, spending. No, there's, there's a very so, smart district. Yeah, they're liberal. They like and big it, government and taxes know, and spending. And you want to know something? It, it's people who free work hard. Free insurance. It's yeah, people who work People who work hard, they want free stuff. Free insurance, Medicaid yeah, expansion. Okay. Yeah, they want Tim Susi, Democrat, and we're mm -hmm. Ward 7 one. Top vote getter. But we also picked up two seats over there. You we? did. Timothy mm -hmm. Trombley, is it? Yep. He, uh, he's he, a former he state won rep. He Edith Hogan. He, She's coming back. Not a former back. state rep, right? Troublemaker. Oh, T She's been a troublemaker you know, from... D. Hogan, D. Hogan is a outspoken state representative who she speaks out for her constituents. caused so much trouble here in the city of Nashua. Because... They're happy to get rid of her. Because they actually didn't get rid of her. They brought her forward. No, Did no, you know no, her daughter's yeah, a no, veteran no. and somebody no. else you voted? Know, so she, Did I you know, know somebody her, voted under her daughter? Did you know somebody... Did you know somebody voted? Voted. Her daughter was a veteran, wasn't supposed to be back, and somebody, her daughter went to the polls to vote last term, and somebody went and voted under her name. Did you know that here in Nashua? All right. Now we're at Ward 8. Lala Manjapudi, top vote getter. Mm -hmm. Democrat. I like her. She, I, I, she seemed Daniel like Daniel Hansberry. Mm -hmm. You know, I think when people start to listen to Dan Hansberry, they're going to find out. Wait, I don't that's know. A, the guy's brilliant. Is he another liberal? He's, all, no, no, no. All liberals no, are brilliant no, 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 in no, their own no, mind. No. Yeah, I know. All Democrats are liberal, yeah. right. All right. liberals yeah, are brilliant right. in their I, own mind. And Pete Silver, of course, he's not. He's an absolute terrible liberal. Yeah. No, <laughs> Pete, is, Pete is a great guy, a outspoken state rep okay. who speaks out on behalf he, of he, he his won, constituents. He got, thrown, he got thrown out last time, but he, he's back. Now, you know, then all the Democrats got thrown out, too, How that about Ward, won Obama's uh, tails. Well, Ward 9, let's get through this. Republicans, Bill Ohm. Came, coming back, Bill. One. Another troublemaker. Yeah, Bill, yeah, the Republicans were all troublemakers. <laughs> Michael O'Brien, mm -hmm. senior. I like Mike. Mike's fireman. a good guy, fireman, yeah. yeah. He's okay. a deputy chief, ain't he or something, a fire chief? Yes, he is. How's, he, Linda? Find, how's he find time to be a state rep and then still put out fires in Nashua? Oh, no. the, how's he the, fine? It, they must not work they, that much. They all work good together. They must, they they must not work that much no, if they're it, on No, there. that's not how it works, and you know it. No, but don't, I'm saying. Don't, don't give me that. But don't I mean, give me being that. a fireman, I mean, Mike's right. a good guy. Don't get all me right. wrong. That's it. I just wonder. Here, that's me, the candidates. Here, let me help you out in my district here, all right, okay? let's go. Okay. No, where, where are you? Uh, uh, Londonderry. Well, why would Nashville care about Londonderry? Because your show, this show plays in my town also, and I want people to know this show plays in Londonderry. Okay, and I want oh, Londonderry oh, residents that, know that, that is, that the, is the difference between the tax and spenders in Nashua versus, and now you've seen the light half okay. a year because you voted in 13 Republicans and 14 Democrats in Nashua, okay? Nobody's run, running under Obama's tails anymore. They got kicked out. But anyways, having some. You know, I'm, I'm letting you. I'm yeah, letting you because the truth talk, hurts. And I'm the, no, no. Because the it's truth. It's not the truth. Because you want me to the take truth. you under my no, wing, so nobody picks on you in the next two years. Take insurance away from people yeah, who I already will. have yes, it. Yes, I will. Because yes, I will. if you do what yes, you say you're going to do, how you got elected, you okay. they would burn your house down. Since he brought up the insurance again, he never answered me. Okay, on what I brought up to him, what he voted for. Medicaid expansion. It has a trigger in three years. We have to re-vote it in. Okay, he didn't tell you that part. He also didn't tell you there's three waivers that have not come forward yet. That means in March, on what he voted for, goes away. So that means the 22,000 people... The, the waivers? The waivers, yes. And the waivers. The waivers. And okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that just happens to be my department. Well, then tell us about it. You know it. what the wave is tell are? Tell us about them. Because the Republicans made it illegal 
for us to start an insurance no, exchange. No, that's not true. And in Obamacare, it says the state must run their own insurance exchange. That's not true. Because the, the Republicans Court, did this. The Supreme three, Court decision. Three waivers are going to be taken away because of Republicans. Okay. That's why. Shame I, on you. What I want is people to know the truth. First that of is all, the truth. The Supreme Court... In that the is US, the truth. The U.S. Supreme Court already made it clear that Obamacare cannot force states' rights. They cannot force it on the states. Okay? Because when does the government ever say they're going to fund something you, 100% you know, and it costs you, us you more money to get a ball? You're right. They, they didn't. Okay? They didn't. And, and your friend, O'Brien, sat here and said to me directly that what the reason, the main reason why they didn't take it was, well, I know the reason why, was because it was going to cost the state of New Hampshire so much money. Right? Mm, no, no, not just that. Yeah, yeah but it's going to cost it, us a right, lot of money. Right, it's gonna, Where so does the money what, come from? So what they did mm -hmm. was an insurance company comes along and says, we'll do it. So the federal government says, well, okay. nobody in the state of New Hampshire can is you, arguing that there's an insurance company that's going to do it. So they let an insurance company do the insurance exchange. And guess what? You know what they did? The insurance they eliminated company 10 hospitals. The one insurance in company does not have an exchange. Of that's, that's not true. Republicans. And you the want to know insurance something? company yeah. does not have an exchange. That is not true. The exchange is run by Obamacare, the federal government. Let the federal government pay through your taxes. In Social Security. Did, Why should we double hit Did you? you just not say we're going to lose waivers? What I'm talking about our Medicaid expansion. Okay, and even you're though it's not, a part. You're going to lose the waivers because it is not run by the state of New Hampshire because you guys made it illegal. What, what I'm so saying is. You, hey, you bought it. What you I'm won saying, the elections. What you're I'm running saying the house is the, we're going to replace the Commerce Section or Committee. We're going to put people in there that will stand up and put in legislation or pass legislation where you can cross lines. We want those 22,000 people to get their insurance back. We want to push Obamacare Oh, so out of you New admit we that want, they lost they their lost, insurance. Yeah, I always have. Yeah. Because of Obamacare. And they lost their insurance because of Obamacare. Insurance because of Obamacare. what? Because of Obamacare. No, what don't you want to no, O'Brien said the same thing. I'll tell you what. I'll Bill tell you what, said the it's same very thing. complicated, but let me just say <laughs> one thing. Well, I'm doing you I'm doing you a favor. It's I'm, I'm doing you a favor because yeah, okay. I'm going to get you out of this because right. you're yeah. kind of in a mess because don't, don't you don't know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. This is my department. I don't go over and tell you his how to run. His department dropped I don't the ball. Know. Yeah, right. All right. Your, his department didn't even vote in the committee on Medicaid expansion. They bypassed them because they knew they didn't have the votes. Republicans and Democrats, because his committee looks at the costs of the taxpayers. So they went right to finance, and they said, oh, we'll get the money. It's uh, la la ladies and gentlemen, you must remember Did your committee that vote? this gentleman right here now has the House of Representatives as a Republican and New Hampshire. The people Let's spoke. watch them That's eliminate right. 48,000 people the pe from the insurance. You know something? Let's see if they're going to do it. They said they were going to do it. You want to know something? They're not going to do it. Be it's not because they lied. They did it and said this because I, they wanted the votes and they wanted to scare people and they did. Well, I don't think but we scared are anybody. Are they going to take 48,000 people off the insurance? He says yes. What's the polls? You said yes. What are the polls here in New Hampshire you, showing? 70 uh, something percent? Don't want Obamacare. They want government out of their house, out of their pockets. This is the live free or die state. What's wrong you with you? Something, you, know something. You, you? You know You can hop look at the polls. Talk, but you're not going to blow nothing yeah. down. I'm telling <laughs> look you. Look at the polls. Be careful. Now, you don't know what you're look talking at, about. Look hey, at the polls. You don't want Obamacare, so I want 40 government. million people have it. We, so guess what? You know, now some, you're going to put 40 million people want, out of insurance. You want, can I ask you a Will question? Will they do that? You want no, Obamacare, they right? won't hey, do that. You, you want, want to know why? Can, because they would be, can, they would be flayed. Can you want Obamacare, right? They would be right? fish filleted. Now, let's be serious here. You want Obamacare and Medicaid expansion, right? Don't you? Every Don't you want single it? person, Why including Democrats and Republicans, no, know there must be changes. Will you... 
take Obamacare and get rid of it? The yes. answer is I, simple, no, yes. you yes. will not. Wait, are you, are you talking for you me? Can, I just told you, yes, you I will. put another name on it. It's the same Obamacare, thing. if I have my say, will be repealed here in New Hampshire. Now, let me ask you why. Answer my question here. Where does the money come from to pay for it after the three years? Let's say the Congress now, which is controlled by the Senate and the House, they control the purse strings. Let's say they're not going to cut that 100% uh, paying for it. In three years, where does the money who, come? Who, who, Ed, please, who, who no has BS. To pay? No BS. Who, who has to pay? We are here in New Hampshire. New Hampshire residents. At the present, where, at the present, where present, does the money in three at the, years? At the present time, oh, it's here we go, called the BS. 50 50, Medicaid. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Obama came along and said, we will pay 100% of it. You but get the people on. You need it. And in three years, all you'll have to do within three years is know, pay some, no more than 10%. The but people, what, you? You want to get rid of that? Apples and oranges. What are you people going to... The people on Medicaid for the needy that we take care of here in New Hampshire, 50-50. Where's the money going to come stays. from? We're already where's paying Where's the money going to come from? We're, we already... No, no, where's the money going to come already, from? We already budgeted. Well, you guys are keep, it's, keep it's, uh, no, taking the see, taxes you know, away. Some, and you're talking in this. circles. Where's in the, the money coming from? Can, you're talking in circles hey, and people are smarter you than you think. The house. Can I finish, can I finish what and I'm and trying to Senate, say? Can I finish what I'm saying? Med the people on Medicaid there, those are people that are really hurt and bad, low-income people that are there. Medicaid expansion of people that are working... Okay, that were paying for their insurance, that, that lost their insurance because of Obamacare, and a lot of them are disgusted you, because you, they got to go on the government know, dole. You know, let, hold on. A How second. do we pay hold for on. Medicaid Look, expansion? I'll tell you, we can we can go back and we. How do we go, pay we for Medicaid expansion? The, stop. We can go over the films, and it will show you. How you have changed I've your never talking changed. and I've how never you've changed, changed one bit. your intellect. I've never changed because one bit. now you guys never, have ever. it. Never ever you have I changed. You wanted to get o rid of Obamacare. You know something? It took two years to get it here in New Hampshire, and for two years, families didn't have insurance because it was because of who? It the Republicans. Not, it but did of course, not take two years to get Obamacare here in New Hampshire. It took two years for them to get their sight up and running. No, New Hampshire residents can no, still join. It took two the Fed. years to no. get Medicaid. Medicaid expansion. No, excuse me, Medicaid. Apples and oranges. Medicaid already exists. We are. You don't have to do a thing. I All you have that. to do is accept it. But we're still the Medicaid. No, it's there. You know, some kid. I want you. You sit on the Commerce Committee. Be honest with the people. The people on Medicaid expansion. I mean Medicaid, except the breast cancer, are going to be moved over. Breast cancer is going to be moved over to Medicaid expansion. Okay? Did you read the bill? Did you, you read you the know, bill? You know I'm asking you. you, you know something, did you read the bill? You know something? Ken, did what, you read the bill? Whatever we're talking about right here at did this you moment, read the just bill? remember, You're like Pelosi. the Republicans said what they're going to do is they're going to get rid of Obamacare. So no matter I what speak for you myself. have as insurance, good or bad, you're gonna have nothing. I speak. Welcome to the Republicans. You know something. You ate it. You got it. How do you pay for Medicaid expansion in three years when it goes down to ninety percent? Where does no, 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 no. You're paying ten percent. Okay, you, wait. You're paying ten percent. You, what did not you not ninety percent? What did you just understand? Did I just say when it goes to ninety percent? That's right. Naturally, no, ten percent. We have to pay ten percent. Okay. Let me rephrase what I'm saying. When it goes to 90%, because he never lets me finish and he jumps in there, when it goes to 90% of the federal government, which the federal government is you and me and everybody, more money out of our pockets to pay for that 90%. Now, but you're also going to pay for the 10% here in New Hampshire. Where so does that 10% money come from? What he is saying Where does the you, money come from, Ken? Answer it, me. What he is saying to you Ken, is... Ken, can you answer the question? With the Republicans in less than three years, yeah. they're going to get rid of your insurance, and you're not going to have it. And you want to know why? Because he's saying, where's the money going to come from? You are you willing something? to pay more taxes? Yeah. Ask yeah. the people. You know. Are you willing you, to pay you, a, you, more you taxes, know. a payroll tax, a sales tax, before we bankrupt the state? That's what they want to do to us. They want to bankrupt the state. Look at Massachusetts, the deficit Look, they have you, for their you, insurance you wanna, program. You want to know something. Look at Massachusetts. You, you want to know something. 
this, the really asinine part of what you said, not all of it, because because there's some Could justice. you disagree. But the most asinine mm -hmm. part is that New Hampshire has the lowest unemployment where? Oh, here we go again. In New England? We're going to beat something again okay. here with over 300,000 so people. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got the rules. lowest unemployment. Because 300,000 people, people are off the are rules. working. 20,000 people More lost. People no, 10, are insured. But you numbers? still want to beat that drum am, and tell people we don't have the money numbers. to pay for insurance. Let me, Shame let me, on you. Not, Shame can, on you. Can you unbelievable how you never tell the truth, okay? You know, some maple of employed. Of Obamacare? 700, Guess what? There'll be no insurance. We've lost 7,000 jobs in the last four months, not counting the month of October. Oh. Okay, here in New Hampshire. And we're down a 4.2. How could in that be? In December. How could this be? In December, because the president extended a law that he had no authority no, to do no, through no, executive no. Wait, order. Whoa, whoa. 70,000 New wait, Hampshire wait, residents wait, are going to lose wait, their hold, insurance. Hold on. Hold Did you on. tell them that? No. Yeah, because he wouldn't do an insurance exchange. Oh, here we go. Ladies, you got a ladies federal exchange. and gentlemen, they wanted it. They got it. Let's see what they're going to do. And we will. You wouldn't listen. We and, will and do by, everything. By the way, New Hampshire is a pretty damn good place to it live. It is a good place. You wouldn't want to live anywhere else. It is a great 4. place to live. 2 here. What, 6%? And by the way, but yet he says we lost 7,000 jobs. Does that make any sense to you? We are at this low point, but we lost 7,000 jobs. You want to know something? That's not a lie. Okay. That's just not telling the truth. Here's, are okay. you telling the truth? Go to the unemployment page. Don't believe me. Do a Google search on the state unemployment page. Take a look at the numbers in July 2006. Non-employed, 325,235 people. Will lost their job. T August of 2014. I haven't looked uh, at September, okay. October. Can I have the last word on this? Because let's move on to something else. 943 okay. people are not working in New Hampshire. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are not okay. working. Okay. Don't hit that because it, it hits the. It hits They're the not thing. working. No, what you, don't you understand? Go, go like Look this. at the camera and All tell right, me okay. I'm lying. Ladies I'm wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, there's always people who are not working. I'm not For happy until every person's to say working. People have lost seven thousand jobs, then we would not be at 4.2. We probably would be at about 5.9. They're not true numbers. So when that person makes a statement like They're that, not true that's numbers. not... Oh, now it's not They're true not numbers. They're not true numbers. 4.2 is not, like not true. Like the federal government numbers right, are okay. not true with the many right, people that dropped off the rolls. Okay, let's, let's you move on. You guys hate to hear the truth. No. Okay, London Dairy. I can say you guys uh, on. Okay, let's let's London quickly because we have a bunch of stuff. I, okay. I topped All the right. ticket with 5,164 votes. Okay. Republican. Yes. Congratulations. Now, thank you. You topped the That's right. five thousand. Now, we knocked out the Democrat rep in my town. Knocked okay. Uh, and she's well liked, a nice person. But what happened is we call roll call votes for a reason. The people in my district did not really know because Lisa's a nice person. I she's my friend. Lisa Whittemore, Representative roll Whittemore. Call. The Shame roll call vote guys. showed that she voted for your heating fuel oil tax. Gas tax, cigarette tax, paint tax. They wanted to put uh, take away freedom of speech there to protest, okay, uh, around abortion clinics. That's right, you all voted. I, I, I know how. You all whoa, voted whoa, to this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa, yes, whoa, whoa, you all voted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They voted whoa, against whoa, their whoa, perverts whoa. living near schools. We want to stop you're that. You're using whoa. that as an example of what you that did. if a woman wants to go into a clinic, by the way, that does manograms, does pap smears, an, an tests for clinic. cancers. No, an and, unlicensed and what clinic. you're saying is they wanted a little space so they could walk through. They have now, space. It's there's illegal. no space. No, that's bull. So she that's, that's bull. voted that's BS. to let women is, and know, men some, go into a clinic and have space? You know, and you're, you're calling that's, that that's bad? BS. That's, that's terrible. BS. People have the right to protest in our country. What they wanted to do, How make that a no press. How close can they okay. stand? Can I, you know, hear me out for a Read second? Read it without, on their face? Without, without, you, without you stepping on me, and okay? What you did, you protected the abortion clinics, but you didn't protect the perverts living near schools. You didn't protect our children because you, there was legislation. You, you know, you, so, you know so, late, so these late, child late, molesters, late, ladies, could, ladies and gentlemen, child even, molesters would not live near schools. You voted it down. Even Republican women, even Democratic women and men realize mm. that you, if you cannot get into, let's say, you can't get into a, a building 
people are standing in front of you and they won't move. That's well, not true. Well, guess what that's, that's called? That's not true. That's called, that's called blocking the entrance. That's so not true. All there she is did the right, was the people vote. Who, don't block the entrance. And the entrance. Supreme Court and said it was what? illegal, what they did, on stepping on people's right to protest. The Supreme Court said it was unconstitutional, yeah, so in other words, just get, like we told them. You can them. get two inches away from somebody. No, in other words, can't. you don't have an arm. You, know you can't you know go like can't. a two Breathe on their nose. You know, some, uh, the Supreme Court, did they say it was unconstitutional? What you did, we let, brought let it up. Let us go. Come on. Well, the, the tr Let's you get never want to answer I, I, the truth. Yeah, oh, she, okay. she votes to, to make sure people have to walk through her door. But anyways, Michael Dowling uh, won back as our sheriff. Uh, Patricia Conway is now our county attorney. Uh, what a great lady, uh, hard worker. Edward Buck, he got reelected as the county treasurer. Kathy Stacy once again, got registered of deeds. Mark Lebert, uh, register of probate. And the county commissioner, Kevin Cole, got elected in, in my district there. Well, come on. Let's, let's give him a hand. Well, come on. Let's give him a hand. Come on. Yeah, all no, Republicans, no. yeah. You, you want to know something? And I've told this, because I didn't know if I was going to win or I was going to lose. You knew you were no, going to no, win. The, no, you're I, in the I Democrat swear, district, and you swear, speak out for your swear people. Swear to God, I didn't know. And this is what I told the people who were running. Look, you have somebody who's going to come in first with mm -hmm. numbers. Right. Someone's going to come in second. Mm -hmm. There will never be a loser. That's right. Nobody no, loses. No, because people stepped up. They get up. Right. They go. But they educate. And guess what? You... Their time may be next time. So the people who did not win in Ward mm -hmm. 6, because it's all of Nashville, but in Ward 6, please, you know, don't be a loser by, by getting up really mad about losing. Don't be mad you at the Republicans. You didn't lose. You only come in second. And you're a loser when you're not nice Thank about Thank you it. for stepping up to the plate. That's right. But the people have seen what the Democrats have done, the tax and spenders in the House, and realized that the Republicans need to be put back in charge. That's what happened. No, now, they go, did not. Yeah. If people go back to the list here, the playlist on Are this show. Are you all done that, by the way? Yeah, I'm all done. All right, okay. If the people right, go yeah. to the playlist and watch all the shows and look at how many times you bragged about knocking out the Republicans. The people spoke, you said. Am I right? Didn't you do that many right. times? Right. And now look what happened. And now you want to know look something, ladies and gentlemen? You wanted it. You ate it. You own it. That's Republicans right. in the House Can I tell you, what, you know what the, our goals in the, are? In, in New Hampshire and also the Senate of New Hampshire. Do you know what some of our goals are? Guess what? They're going to do away with Obamacare. You're not going to have any insurance. No, you will have insurance. How? You will have insurance. If you're going to because repeal it. If you're low income, we still have Medicaid. That's still we're still paying 50-50. If you have pre-existing, oh, but now you, it's will only 10, now it's not for free. Can I finish it? No, we're okay. paying 50-50, and they pay certain. They don't pay anything. That's real low income people. If you're working, we're going to put something in where you can cross on the state's rights that you can cross lines, that you can group together and get cheaper insurance. We're going to force uh, the cheaper payment. We're going to invite insurance companies back to you, New Hampshire. You're going to force that the Democrats, insurance? Yes, that the Democrats they're scared hold, out of this hold state. On, hold on a second. I, I, really want, Shaheen. I really want people here in Nashville, especially to know, because we lost a hospital. And because of really, Obamacare. We lost, no, we lost because the hospital of Obamacare. because the... Republicans not made true. it illegal for That's, us to form an insurance exchange. Because that is not true. If we would have formed an insurance exchange, we wouldn't have got rid of the hospital. That in is Nashua. not true. Antrim does not do factual. business with those ten hospitals. That is really the truth. That's not true. One insurance that's company does not do business with those ten hospitals. Under Obamacare, well, they could still sign up. You wanted, the, you wanted, why you know, aren't they signing up under the federal exchange? Southern Regional wanted the business, why? And, and they were doing business. Then period. Okay. Why ain't they signing up under Let the federal us exchange? Do something else. How come? Because everyone else has See, won you everything. You never want to answer the okay, two hold questions. On. You guys won the house. Yes, we did. Now you have, here we go again with speakers. Mm -hmm. Speaker of the House, House of Representatives. We have on your side. Speaker O'Brien. 
Bill O'Brien. That's right. Good man. Then there is... Gene Chandler. Gene Chandler, who used to be... Used to be the speaker. Good and guy. And you but have... You have Laurie Sanborn. Laurie Sanborn, whose husband is... Is Senator Sanborn. Senator. Do I have to speak for you? Why don't you just say it? It's okay. Do I need to speak for you? Well, what do you I mean, they're me Republicans. Up? They're Republicans, yes. You, do you really want Laurie... Do you really want her? No. You don't want her. No, uh, not as a speaker. You know, I don't. No offense, uh, I, she's a good person. All that. I don't don't misunderstand me. Mm -hmm. But you really have got to have a kind of a separation between the. You know, when they say sleeping together, they really mean sleeping right. together. Pillow talk. You can't right. do that. Yeah, no. All we, right. Yeah, no. We definitely don't want that. And, uh, and, and I have other reasons why, Laurie, and I won't get into okay, it here. But so it's an integrity. So Chandler, thing. what's wrong with Chandler? Gene's a great guy, but he's past his time. You know, Gene is. You know. The last two years, if you remember, look at the floor. Who took the fight to the floor to start, try to stop the tax and spending of the Democrats? The House Republican Alliance, the younger state reps, the more... Um, well, the one who got the up there and reps. spoke the most was Bill O'Brien. Bill O'Brien, myself, okay. uh, right. Pam yeah, yes, Tucker. That's correct. Um, yes. You know, yes. Dan Etzer, J.R. Um mm. We, you know... But, but, but I can go on and but, on. Uh, but let me... Uh, I... Uh, I know Bill O'Brien because we, 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 we've had a, we've had Bill O'Brien on the show. You know right. that. Yeah, yeah. he did a hundred show and he, he did thirty shows. Is he a shows. good guy? So I know is Bill. He a yes, good guy? yes, yes, he yes. Is. But let us go back. Mm -hmm. He's not. Everybody is a nice person politically. <laughs> politically, I can't it. was it O'Brien that caused such a great swing from a supermajority? No. To no, a minority. It was Obama. He did a great job. He beat us. So, it was okay. Obama. It was Obama. It was Obama okay. that beat us. So all the things I said about O'Brien. That was the Democrats and five Republicans that are rhinos that vote with the Democrats. Okay, so they attacked Bill O'Brien because of O'Brien will do what differently? O'Brien will continue. He's he's determined to lower the business tax. We're number the forty seventh or forty eighth in the country. The worst business taxes. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, but uh, how are you going to make that money up? How we're going to make the money up there? Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look and cut in spending. Oh, we're oh, going to look at what oh, programs wait, that whoa, are wasting whoa, money whoa, that are duplication. Hold on a second. You just said we're two gonna weeks cut ago spending. that you did not we're gonna want look at duplication people of programs. to refinance college loans because you couldn't find the money to Be make it up. No, no. Now because you want to take money out? The, no, you're yeah. putting words in my mouth because nobody bothered to, <laughs> to look to find where yeah, they're going to cut. Could, put a, where you got to cut to make up for the money lost. In your mouth That's right. I, could, I, I know you would. But see, the <laughs> thing is, if we're going to cut, oh. okay, the business taxes, we're going to look at the programs. We have to cut duplications, uh, fraud, and other things that are going let on in let government. Let's stop and talk about something really important. Like what? The voters. The voters did a great job, I thought. Yeah. I thought they yeah, did. Yeah, they did. You know, you know even though Brown they, didn't they, get in. They I'm, were, you know, uh, yeah, okay. I'm let, satisfied. Let, let us get, let's get away from all that. Let, mm -hmm. Let's just say, the people who came out to vote, sadly in my ward, uh, there's 5,142, I believe, Less than 50, or just barely 50% came out to vote. Thank God you did. I mean, this is really important. And throughout the state, what you do, yeah, and I said this before, if only half comes out to vote and you have one vote, all of a sudden it turns into two votes. If you didn't vote and your neighbor did, don't complain to anybody. All right. right. He's right. I have to. You not that often I agree voted with him. have the <laughs> absolute right because you're the one That's who right. walked up mm -hmm. by us who had the signs. And I'll tell you what, I saw some people, I almost put my sign down to help them. And I'm not the only oh, one. Oh, you were kidding. The elderly, the, the elderly. seniors that come out One guy vote, took, yeah. I'm not, uh, mm -hmm. when I say mm -hmm. four minutes to, to, to uh, walk 150 feet, I'm not kidding. Mm -hmm. And for him to vote yeah. it to come down. In my and, district, I think it was about 55%. And people on crutches and people with, right. uh, on uh, disabled Do you people. Know what, there was one veteran. Do you know there was one veteran that came? He had a pillow in his chest. He just had triple bypass. He's a retired Marine. Okay, and guess what? Up. Guess what? what? Uh, we've kind of run out of town, but I'm sure they will, they will, they will cut something. So how can they get in touch with you? Albaldasau.com or 425-6997. Or I live in London area, 41 Hall Road.
Okay. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook. Right, and my name is Ken Gidge, and thank you very much for voting for me. I really appreciate it. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. Go to Gidge World, you'll see uh, an art site there. We'll be doing more art shows, by the way, here at this station, and we'll, we'll, it's going to be very, it's going to have, we're going to have a lot of fun. But anyway, thank you very much, and this has been The Art of Politics. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.